Ask Audio Cuomo. This is your forum to put forward any questions you have real estate related. Welcome to Ask Claudio Cuomo. Hey friends, welcome back to this month's Ask Claudio Cuomo and what a cracking first quarter of 2017 we've seen with supply still tight. The majority of sales achieved have also been very strong and this month we tackle a very interesting question from Mark, a long-standing client of mine from Glenroy who's planning on coming to market this April who recently asked me, with what's been going on in the media, what impact will the new First Homeowners Grant have in July this year? Well, this is a great one, Mark, thank you. And many people have actually been asking the very same thing over the past few weeks, since the announcement was made in March. Okay, let's start by looking at what changes to the First Homeowners Grant will actually be happening under the Andrews government plan. Firstly, buyers purchasing under the $600,000 mark will no longer have to pay stamp duty on brand new or established homes. Now this would equate to a current saving of approximately $15,000, which is pretty handy if you ask me. Scheduled to start July 1st this year. The Andrews government will also be trialing a pilot program in which they'll be offering to pay up to 25% of a first home buyer's purchase price. However, there is a catch as always, they will be taking this as an equity share in the property to recoup, of course, their 25% investment and value once the property is sold. Now, this particular one is scheduled to start January 1st, 2018. First home buyers as well purchasing over 600,000 but under 750,000 will only receive a sliding scale concession and not the full stamp duty exemption. And also first home buyers of new homes will still be eligible for the $10,000 first home owners grant on brand new properties that are valued under 750,000. Again, quite handy as well. There are of course some strict eligibility criteria and obligations for these grants and concessions. So we recommend double checking the State Revenue Office website to confirm your eligibility. And we'll have those details on screen for you now. Now Mark did also ask the question, would it be worth waiting until July to sell? Uh, as will this mean our sale price could increase? Again, great one Mark. Considering that the main driver of the market and sale prices is more so supply and demand, well supply at the moment is the lowest we've seen in years. And what we can confirm is the market and prices are strong right now. We may experience a rush also from investors flooding back to the market to get in before July 1st and get ahead of the crowd. Also, in previous instances where there've been first home buyer grant changes, we've actually seen a flood of first home buyers rushing in to get in before they expect prices to be pushed up as well. Now, we could also see a possible interest rate rise or two in the last half of this year. And this could certainly soften market conditions instead of them actually improving. There's just so many factors which can come into play, Mark. So playing the waiting game could be risky or it could be beneficial. None of us have a crystal ball to be able to predict the future. The only thing that I can recommend is to time your sale when it suits your personal situation best. And conditions are currently undeniably strong, so why not take advantage now? So to find out, friends, what this may mean for you or your home's value, feel free to drop me a line or get in touch and see how we can help. Again, we'll have all of our contact info on screen right below me right now. So that's a wrap for this month. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I do look forward to helping answer your questions again next month. Take care till then and bye for now.